What is up, you guys? Uh, here's a tutorial for all the people that want to play uh, NFL Fever 2000. I'm going to show you all a tutorial. Uh, here I have a Windows XP HP laptop. Uh, here is the detail. I don't know much about computers, but there's a detail. It's a compact NC4200. So pretty much I'm going to try and show you all how to install this game. But yeah, I bought this on eBay for... It was about 96 bucks on eBay, but... You no, know, the shipping and stuff it was about a hundred bucks. So I already have it downloaded, and I'm gonna show y'all how to record it as well, so y'all can record it with Bandicam. If y'all wanna know, but yeah, I'm not gonna delete this game, but it's gonna be tough showing, uh, like telling you how to install it with the setup. But it's all good. So pretty much we're gonna go. And by the way, if y'all don't know how to go to the internet, I'm sorry. Uh, I really forgot on how to how I went. The internet is pretty easy to set up. The internet is pretty easy to set up. It's pretty much the, the browser that, that has problems. But I had a problem with the browser. But link in the description for the latest Windows XP browser. And uh, it's pretty much Mozilla Firefox. That's what I use. And that's pretty much what everyone else uses, I think. Everyone using Windows XP, I think. So yeah, we're going to go in Mozilla Firefox. Whoa, what did this? Oh, okay. So they opened up. So pretty much, oh, 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 oh. So pretty much what you would search is NFL Fever 2000. Just search that up. And this game is free, by the way. It's free. Um, you just scroll down a little bit and go to old NFL Fever 2000 oldgames.com. Wait, what? All games? Oh, yeah, it's pretty much oldgames.com, but old games download. Click on it. Scroll down, scroll down. You can read the description and all that. Uh, here's a note. This game has compatibility issues on Windows 8 and Windows 10. I recommend that you play it on a Windows XP computer or virtual machine. Do not play on a virtual machine and don't only really work on a virtual machine. Just get a Windows XP computer and it will pretty much work on that. Uh, this game came out in 1999 for y'all that want to know. Uh, pretty much you would just download this and it's in like an ISO file, I think. ISO? And you would, prop and you would have to pretty much get Power ISO, download Power ISO and you would open it in power iso and there'll be like an extract button at, at the top of it and you would extract it to whatever folder you want and i have it in here so i have a folder i created called nfl fever setup and i extracted the setup over here so pretty much you would scroll down open this up double click it setup and pretty much you would just install it and if, if you get stuck somewhere where like nothing's happening, just press enter and that's pretty much it. You installed NFL Fever 2000. And yeah, it works. There's gonna be a, like little hiccups. Like, let me just show y'all like an example. You open it up. Um, it's gonna be pretty weird. Like, like this right here for an example. Like, like, uh, does this a lot. Don't worry, the game is still playable. Don't worry, you just gotta wait until it loads in. It's gonna do this a lot. And by the way, you can't exit the game. If you exit the game like using Alt Tab or something, you can't go back in the game. Just letting y'all know, y'all can't go back in the game if y'all like Alt Tab it or minimize it. Y'all cannot go back in the game. Just letting y'all know. And here it is. That's pretty much it, y'all pretty easy to set up i'm sorry for those guys that don't know how to connect to the internet and um the red browser is not working to search up to search it up y'all will find i promise y'all will find a fix man if i can find a fix y'all can too i just don't remember it i wish i would have um but pretty much I'm, I'm i'm sorry uh just exit out of there and when you exit it's gonna be the same stuff it, it's spazzing out a little bit spazzing out a little bit okay we good so now pretty much you would just search up if y'all want to record this game, uh, y'all want to search on Bandicam Windows XP, and the first link should be the Windows XP, Windows XP's latest Bandicam, or pretty much Bandicam's latest uh, release for for uh, Windows XP, and that will be downloaded when you open it up. I'm gonna show y'all the setup too, so y'all so you like y'all won't mess up, cause I, I recorded a lot of gameplays and they just weren't and like they didn't save, and it's pretty sad. But yeah, here it is. Here's some recordings that I have. But yeah, I'm not gonna show you my email and serial number. 
but uh y'all will just go to about and you'll pretty much have like a uh you'll pretty much have like two things that are blank and they will say email address and serial number and pretty much you don't have a license unless you do but most people don't have a license for this so pretty much you wouldn't have a license and you would have to register for it and buy one by a serial number but no here's a free way to, to get that uh oh but here's a free way to register for free link in the description for this crack well but i have a crack called crack i have a folder called crack and i opened it up and pretty much uh yeah just all this right here but don't open any of this uh open crack only open key maker double click key maker you want to just enter your email or any email address i think you can put any email address in there it don't even matter but you can put like a random email address that hasn't even been made yet and pretty much do a register application and that's pretty much it y'all won't fill anything but once you open up bandicam you pretty much have a license now and y'all will be able to record and y'all will be able to record nfl fever and pretty much here's my setup don't have auto complete recording on disable that um video of f12 uh preset i have default don't do 720 uh it sucks it makes your game lag and the fps is terrible unless you have like a tower or something i don't know um that's pretty much it man but default thing records like 480 but it's not even a problem though because if y'all have like sony vegas like me y'all would just render it out in 1080 and it pretty much would be cool but yeah that's pretty much it uh to make sure that y'all have gigabytes or a high megabyte recording video um if it's because like if you don't have if you don't have the registration if you don't have a serial number you are pretty much be limited to like 10 minutes and you have a watermark on top of your video and uh, I just re I just recommend obviously because you can't you would only be able to record the game for like 10 minutes if you don't have a, a, a license so pretty much just get that just go down in the description get that crack and you know get it popping but uh it's pretty much it y'all uh, I'm sorry I'm not really good at this tutorial stuff I just want to get this out there I don't do tutorials on this channel I do gameplays um and pretty much yeah man hope you all enjoyed like and subscribe I hope this helped y'all and I hope to see more NFL fever on YouTube. Yeah, I'll see y'all next one, man. Peace.